Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV and welcome back to a Madden Connected franchise with the Denver Broncos. This, this is episode 11. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click the notification bell. We'll be ready to control whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this video, leave the comments below and click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least 3 to 5 likes for this video. And here we are for this week 11 matchup against the Chargers. We're, we're both 6 and 3. We're both from the AFC West. So we really need to win this. And um, I will see you guys in LA. Here's Desmond King on the return. And look at this. Right away. Oh, that's a hit. That's a fumble. And the Broncos recover. I caused a hit stick fumble. It was kind of a graze too. I'm surprised that the Broncos was where the Broncos were able to force a fumble, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's gonna be a touchdown to Jake Butt, and the Broncos score early in the game. There you go, nice and quick from the the turnover from the from the Chargers. Here we go, up seven nothing already. Nice and quick. The Broncos a score. That's what I like. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself. Oh my gosh, that's a touchdown already too. And the Chargers answer back just like that. What a pass by. As I'm gonna say, Philip Rivers. Ooh, there's a big run. Ooh, got him. What a run by Damian Williams for the first. There you go. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Look at the yards. That's a catch. That's a big play by Damian Williams catching on the sides. All right, we're going to try to be either Sutton or Sanders here. We got sacked back-to-back -back possessions. We're a little far back. In there. In there. Did he make it? No, just a little short. All right. I'm going to try it. It's a big risk. You know, I'm going to try it. Let's see if we can punch the ball in. Let's see. And I do, and that's a touchdown for Damian Williams, who returned this week in a big way. <laughs> what are they doing? That is that. Broncos score. They respond to the Chargers. Uh... Oh, shit. I missed it. Oh, God. Um, I thought I missed that. Um, so we respond to the Chargers quick touchdown with a touchdown of our own. And... Man, now it's time for our defense to just step up. Big play for the Chargers and big play for the Broncos. Nope. Ooh, incomplete. Just a long pass. Woo. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it. Brand of more and more offenses are going to the full. All right, so we got to sell for a 44-yard field goal. Field to try and spread things out. And when you're running right before the end of the half, at least a minute in. So that's good. We're going to be up 17 to 10. And that moves him up by a touch. Against the Chargers, about a minute left in the second quarter. Oh, that's a sack by Von Miller. Here comes a hurry up offense here. And that's a field goal. Right at halftime, so it's going to be 17 to 13 Broncos. Let me get the ball back. And he'll be the one in the film session. If he said, hey, run that one back, coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that again. Time. And they won't. Eight more time. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. Open so field for Keenum. He's going to run for it. And he gets it for the first. That is another rush for Case Keenum. This time for 11 for the first down. All right, we're going to try to settle for this. 
40 yard field goal and hopefully we got it and it should be good the length is good it's down the middle and that is a field goal for the broncos we're up 20 to 13 here in the third quarter that was a long drive oh fumble let me get the ball back again that is the second fumble of the game Again, giving it up to the Broncos. He is... Ah! Came up short. Now they're on the five-yard line. Good pass by Keenum to Cortland Sutton. And there's another rushing touchdown for the Broncos. Now things are open wide. And we're going to do Fortnite dances. Oh gosh, it's blocked. Ooh, that was so close. I saw him come from the side. Now we're up by two touchdowns. Oh, another fumble! And then we get it back. That is another fumble by King. After a hit stick. And lost the ball again. Very interesting. Makes me wonder if the Chargers will try to change things up for their uh, special teams because it was three turnovers already. What a catch by Emmanuel Sanders for the touchdown. That was a quick strike after the fumble recovery. They were able to get the touchdown. It was 33 to 13. This is probably the biggest offensive output they had all year. And after their loss last week with the interception, hopefully these are you know changes things to come. Give me that ball. Let's go. Oh. And that is an interception by Justin Simmons in the backfield. Right, here we go. And that's a sack. And that's a turnover on downs. This is Bradley Chubb's second sack of the game. And that's just going to spell the win for the Broncos. This is a minute 24 left. And the Chargers only have two timeouts left, nope. and they're down by 14. And that is the end of the game. And that is the end of the game after interception. The Broncos win 34-20 to thanks to the fumbles caused by the special teams. They were able to capitalize with a touchdown or a field goal. So, yeah, and then the Broncos defense too, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, we did have that one takeaway uh, at the end of the game where I turned the ball over. Um, that's okay. We ended up winning uh, by, you know, by I guess minimally because our touch, our total yards is only 200 plus. I think they had like 300, 300 yards total. Uh, let's take a look at it here. So they had total offense of 332 yards. We had 252, but our rushing game definitely beat their rushing game. And Philip Rivers just was slinging it, man. 292, excuse me. 292 compared to our 152. They had 21st downs. Um, let's see, let's see what else. We had one turnover. They had the five. They had, I think, four fumbles, uh, three fumbles, and two interceptions. Um, let's see. But our total time possession was 23 minutes compared to the 16. Uh, that definitely is something that's going to affect them because I just wanted to just uh, milk the time. A la like uh, like Peyton Manning, where he would just basically go for it. He would just take his time and call the shots. Uh, but here we are, uh, QB rating of 92, uh, passing for 160 yards, 64% pass completion, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, what's the longest? The longest pass is 21 yards. Uh, let's take a look at our rushing. We were gonna have a good rushing game, I feel like, with uh, with with Damian Williams, he got injured. He had 46 yards and 10 attempts. 
He did have a touchdown. I mean, Devontae Booker filled in too. 12, 12 attempts, 34 yards. Um, not as much uh, yards per carry, but hey, I'll take it. And then receiving, we had Emmanuel Sanders with 44 yards. Uh, Jeff Hireman with 30 yards. Uh, Cortland Sutton with 30, 41. Damian with 31. I actually realized I didn't pass it to uh, Demarius Thomas, but that's all right. Um, let's see, defensively, um, we had... Three sacks by Von Miller, two sacks by Bradley Chubb, one by Shelby Harris, two interceptions, one by Justin Simmons, and one by Tremaine Brock Sr. Uh, special teams, I guess, kick, kicking. We did force, we did force uh, three fumbles. Let's try to look for it here. Um, blocking, not blocking. Defensively, let's see, forced fumbles, forced fumbles. Here we go. So we got one by Von Miller, Will Parks. Swa Cravens and Jordan Taylor and the fumble, re fumble recoveries. What is it? I should have one. I should have a few here. Um, that's weird. Um, but yeah, defense definitely kicked ass, especially on special teams. Uh, this is actually the first game where I felt really confident with Case Keenum, uh, even though he didn't, he didn't have that many yards. But I got, you know, I took the smart routes and kept it simple. That's all I really need. Ooh, look at that upgrade for Chris Harris. He's already good. I'm gonna make him better a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's make him better for the for the scheme of our defense. Yeah, his overall went up to an 89. Uh, plus two man coverage, plus one on uh, press, and plus three on tackles. Let's see who else. Will Parks, all right. We're going to increase his hybrid stats. And let's see here. Plus one man coverage, player recognition plus one, pursuit plus one, zone coverage plus three. Cool. And then, let's see. All right, so we're seven and three now. That's a big deal uh, because we were able to beat a conference rival. Now we'll be, next week we'll be facing Big Ben in Denver. Uh, that should be interesting. Uh, let's see, and let's see, we got Paredes out still for five weeks uh, with a dislocated ankle, so that should be very interesting in how well we do things. Um, but yeah, that wraps up for this video for my Madden NFL Connected Franchise with the Denver Broncos. Uh, if you like what you saw, again, leave a uh, leave comment below, click the thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day, take it easy, and peace.